Can dairy free be as tasty as dairy? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I have learned some things about my body this year. <laughs> uh, okay. I've learned that I am at least somewhat allergic to maple syrup, especially when you pour it on my body. Yes. And I am at least somewhat lactose intolerant. Oh, which makes this an interesting episode for you because your exercise now is to find dairy-free alternatives yes. to dairy products. Yes. Um, and that's what we're gonna see if we can answer today. Can we tell the difference between dairy-free and dairied products? Oh. It's time for, can we tell if there's dairy in the air while sitting on our dairy air? So we're gonna be presented with two items, they look very similar. One, one is dairy, mm -hmm. one is dairy free. We pick which one we think is dairy free and we plant our dairy free flag in it. The loser of this exercise has to eat a dairy free milkshake, but it's actually just a blended version of all the dairy free products that we are gonna be sampling today. Yummy. Okay, first up we have butter. Ooh, this is gonna be tough, I can tell. You now, want let's start over here. We've applied the butter to bread. That's, we, we've done that, we're not gonna be eating any, any of this stuff straight, so we've kind of disguised it a little bit to make this a little more challenging. Here you go. Thanks for the bread, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the buttered bread, buddy, bro. Yeah. We'll be bread buddies. Now, to smell first. Hmm. Smells like buttered bread. It smells like me. buttered bread, it really does. Hmm. Oh, I got some on my nose. You know what really butters my bread? You know what really butters my bread? I don't know, I was hoping you could tell. <laughs> <laughs> See, I went butter side down. You went butter tongue. I don't need to eat the bread, actually. Fake butter is made out of plants. Plants. I don't taste plants there. You taste plants? I don't taste plants. Except the plants that made the bread. Is that cheating? That seems like cheating. cheating. But I'm gonna do it too. Mm. It's a milder foretaste, but a stronger aftertaste. Hmm. Mm. That's tough. Well, they did a good job. Can't go wrong. The fake butter people did a good job. Mm. Fake butter people, you are to be commended. And you are over here. I think this is this tastes better and it's not actually butter. butter. There is a, a slightly different aftertaste that hit me at the very end of that, which was the only deciding <clears throat> factor for me. I feel like I've gotta, I'm gotta go here, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's a crapshoot. All right, Link, you're correct. Yes! <laughs> I got you! Th did Not you, really. Did you, there was a, a kind of a different little thing at the end there. I got an ice cream sandwich, they, they, they cut into many little pieces. This one's thicker right off the bat, which it screams ice cream to me. Just, oh yeah. You know? Yeah, the but, cross, so, but it might be this might be compensation. Section. This might be compensation for something. They know right. it's not real, so they make it extra section? big. So you won't notice? I don't know. Let's try this, the shorty first. Well, it's it's stumpy. Yeah, I know. There's coconut in that. Yeah. Who added coconut? Is it coconut flavored? She's not answering. <laughs> I'm not even gonna eat that one because I don't need dairy. <laughs> 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 I don't need any dairy in my life, man. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't be getting dairy because it goes in my system and it causes problems. But I wonder why it tastes so coconut. If you don't like coconut, you're not gonna like that, but if you like ice cream, you might you might like it if you also like coconut. All right, guys, you're both correct. Yes! All right, now we've got dairy-free salmon versus dairy salmon. No, actually, it's the cream cheese in, on the bagel. It's not the salmon. Uh, but we have disguised it on a salmon and onion bagel. Which I would never eat. Really? Well, you're about to. And if somebody <laughs> served it to me, I would take that stuff off. Can't do that, Can't friend. do it? Okay. Uh, you wanna start over here? I'll bite this end and then I'll give you the other side. So you, you've gotta experience the salmon and the cream cheese, but then you've gotta ignore that. I mean, the onions. Which are both strong flavors. Salmon really comes through, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The salmon swims upstream in my taste uh, system. I'm I couldn't gain a lot of information about that. The mm. salmon blocking my view of cream cheese. That's tough. So you're not a fan of this? Uh-uh. It's not that bad. I'm trying to find the cream cheese in my mouth and just focus on it, but when you just use it like glue, like we're using it here, I think we're already determined that it's a dairy-free is a viable option. Am I right? I tasted something. 
I was actually thinking this one. Really? Yeah, because I didn't. I tasted more there. I tasted dairy. Mm. Link, you are incorrect. Oh! <laughs> All right, so we're tied All up right, now. All right, tied it right up. Okay, so these salads have been bathed in ranch dressing, which is dairy free. Let's find out. Um, we've also got some carrots, some lettuce, some cucumbers, mm -hmm. and some cucumbers tomatoes. are my favorite. Cucumbers are not my favorite. Okay, make mm. sure you really get get the saucy on there. <laughs> you gotta get that sauce. Hmm. I don't know if that one takes me all the way to the ranch. I don't know if that got me, it got me like to the driveway of the ranch, but not all the way to the one story home. Maybe this one will take us the rest of the way. Do you prefer a ranch style house? Oh yeah, I'm thinking about when I get older, I don't wanna be going up those steps. Yeah, that's what my mom says. That's why they moved into a ranch style house. I've been corresponding with your mom about it. Really? Mm-hmm. But they have no animals. You gotta get animals if you're gonna have a ranch house. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, the ranch flavor on this one, Super strong, makes me want to pick it. But I also know that people who do things that are imitations sometimes overcompensate. They overblow things. Mm. And maybe this is overblown ranch. Man. And maybe this is just your average everyday ranch. Because this was this seemed watered down to me too. But I oh. think I just have to go with instinct here and I'm gonna Yeah, do that. All right. I don't think Rhett answered in the way he intended, but let's go with it. Rhett. You are incorrect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did it backwards, yeah. but it counts. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, I meant this one I has dairy. I was like, dairy. yes, 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 yes. Put your flag there. You, uh, you gotta read your flag each yeah. time. This says dairy free. They always it. say dairy free. So you were right, but you put your flag. Uh, all right. And so right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that as you an can, advantage. You can take it. You know, sometimes this show turns into like, we're being served like a, a six course meal. We just sit here and our friends bring us food to well, eat. They do this at my house as well. They come to your house? Yeah, the, they, the crew doesn't come to your house? I thought they divvied up. I do not like tomatoes, uh, but I do like tomato soup. Really? And I'm not gonna explain myself. But whoa, I didn't know there was, well, I guess cream is in tomato soup. I did, I did not know that it, either. That's what makes it dairy. All right, so, man, if I, if I look at the viscosity. There's definitely a viscosity difference, which, which would make you think that this but, was the one with the dairy in it. Right, So, but let's analyze by taste. So how did that one taste? It tastes like tomato soup. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know that dairy was in tomato soup to begin with, so I, I learned nothing. But maybe if Chef Boyardee got a hold of this, we'd have some O's and some balls happening in there. Man, you got Chef Boyardee balls? Chef Boy RD throw some balls in there. That'd be some goodness. I've never heard of the O's and balls can. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a distinct difference. But listen, so we think this is dairy free. We're agreeing on that. Yeah. But what I'll say is that. You like it more? I mean, you usually don't eat dairy free and, and, and dairy products next to each other. That's kind of against the point of it. Yeah. So we're stacking the deck against this product. But if I just isolate it, that's legit good. I don't think so, man. Chef Boyardee wouldn't let his balls get anywhere near that. <laughs> no. And that's why I'm going with Dairy Free, which this time this means there's no dairy in it. You are both incorrect. What? No! no. Don't you do that. Don't no. you lie to that us. That can't be true. Yeah, it's true. Really? It's, I'm not lying over here. Well, Chef Boyard donkey. <laughs> <laughs> now introducing only available at rentley.com slash store, the dairy-free mug. Which one is it? <laughs> well, we we actually have a whole line of dairy-free merchandise. Uh, it's it's all of our merchandise. Well, the hoodie, yeah, the hoodies are, are uh, and the beanies are both dairy-free. Okay, so we're gonna, confused. we're gonna have to sip out the same mug. Let, let's sip at the same time and then switch. I haven't been drinking coffee either, wow. <laughs> I've been missing out. Is this our normal coffee? Mm-hmm. This is office coffee? Office coffee. Man, I miss office coffee. Oh, you haven't been drinking coffee I've at all. I've been drinking tea. I quit coffee too, man. There's no milk in coffee unless you add it. I know, but I've been, I just, I because Dang, I couldn't put man. the milk in it, I just hadn't been you, even. You, you're flagellating yourself, man. I've changed man. everything about me. Huh, oh. Ooh, this is tough. <laughs> Hold on a second now. I thought this was gonna be simple. 
You know what? One of the things I notice is that I drink coffee every day, and once I decide I like the coffee, I no longer analyze it. But if and if this is the same coffee I drink every day, you don't once like I analyze it. it, I realize I don't like mm-hmm. it. I don't like it either. I'm glad I quit. Glad to drink quit drinking coffee. Man, that's guys. It's the same thing. It's a trick. <laughs> is one of these a powder? They're both liquids. Man, this is a this is a toss up. I gotta go with this one being dairy free. That's a, I mean, this one has a little bit less of a st- of staying power on my on my mouth. Rhett, you are correct. Oh, oh all right, man. man, we tied. We tied, Clyde. We tied. Are we done? We tied. Is that it? That's it. And we, we tied. tied. <laughs> We're both dairy free yeah. boys. <laughs> 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 Thanks to Chef Boy RD for letting us mention his balls. And uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Tegan. And I'm Delaney. And we're at the Record Archive in Rochester, New York. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Physicality. Watch Good Mythical Crew tomorrow morning on this channel where you can see Mike and Alex get trained for a beauty pageant. And right now, click through to Good Mythical More. We are going to blend up all the dairy free items and both drink them because we tied. Tied, Clyde. We tied. Gift. It's a gift of the day. Check it, kids. Hey, whoa! <laughs> Oh! Oh, trying to be cute, huh? Nope. (laughs) Failed again. Look at us, we're cute. Nope, we're not. (laughs) Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.